Hello everyone. In this video, you are going to learn how to pull the focus in Blender. How to set a channel of focus point in Blender. To show this, I have a demo scene here with a clock and a Rubik cube and a cup and saucer, camera and a light and a plane here and a wall here. So I have materialized it with all. My plan is to pull the focus from the cup and saucer to the clock. So here I have textured the wood and the clock, Rubik's cube, cup and saucer, and I have arranged the camera here. So I'm going to the camera view. So here it is. Now the cup is at back and the clock is at front. Now um, shift K, adding in the empty area. Plane axis. Here we go. Plane axis. And clicking on that, the plane axis is created at the 3D cursor. And let's move this to the cup area. Because first, therefore, first I need to focus the cup and then pull that focus point to the clock. That's my idea. And I have placed this. Place this here. Yeah, okay. That's it. Now here, select in the corner editor. Outline editor in this empty, select that and rename it as focus point. That's it. After renaming this, go to the camera here, select this camera and outline editor, and in properties editor, go to the camera settings. First, I toggle to the camera view, go to the camera settings, and here enable this depth of field. After enabling, Go to the depth of field settings in this area, select here focus point, and then in aperture area, edge top, I have selected 0 0.5 so that the cup has focused and the clock has blurred because I have set the focus point here in the cup area. You want to see here I got focus set it. If I change the 0 0.5 into 1, then the focus value decreases. I am keeping the 0 0.5. As least as you keep here, that much focus has been done here in the view. So I'm going to the rendering mode to start the animation of the focus pulling to the clock. Now here I set a 0.5, then in this at uh, the tenth frame, tenth frame, selecting the focus point and clicking the I and location so that I have added a keyframe successfully. Now at the 40 frame, I am going to move this focus point right to the clock. So to the here and again press I and location. Here we go. We have successfully added two keyframes and going to the camera view. And now let's play the animation. Wow, it's very nice and realistic. So at the end, we can set only 50 frames. We don't need those other frames, and then we just simply render. It's just a small demo. This is not how you should actually should make. It's just a demo and explaining how to use the depth of field, how to use the depth of field settings and focus aperture at the top. You can use these tools in your project too. It's just a demo. Hope you like this lesson. And for more interesting Blender lessons, tips, tricks, and tutorials, make sure to subscribe to MGC Blender YouTube channel. And meet you soon in the next video.